Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I discovered the most broken cards that got the craziest support from Dabble. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss with you guys how to break them, how to destroy the meta. Before we get into this video, make sure to go check out www.tripgaming.com to get the most beautiful playmats in the history of mankind. Got a bunch of them out there. Draco Slayers, Outlets, Beyond the Pendulum. Go get them right now. After you guys check them out, make sure to smash the subscribe button because we're almost at 100,000 subscribers. I want, it's my mission, bro. I want to hit 100k so bad. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. And let's get into it. This video is going to blow your guys' mind. This card, this, this whole engine is absolutely fucking broken. Let's go. So for those wondering what deck we're talking about, what engine we're talking about, we're talking about the Nemesis engine. With Bisted cards coming out, uh... Bisted makes Nemesis cards the next engine to throw in every deck. So broken. Like, not only is it level 2, not only does it get sent to the graveyard naturally by your mills and you elf it back, but they have a Protos. And when you call Aqua with this guy, Tillament players cannot play. If you call Thunder with this guy, which your deck plays Thunder, your deck plays Aqua, and what's the other deck in the game? Dragon itself. Your opponent cannot play. It's the new Arch Nemesis Protoss, and it's searchable by the entire deck. It's more searchable than when Sword Soul played Protoss. So, if you guys are wondering, like, oh, Triff, oh, yeah, whatever, bro. It's a level 11, bro, and you can't summon this guy, bro. How are you going to search this guy, bro? How to search it, and you guys can see just how broken it really is. So, before I show you guys this common tutorial, I want you guys to think of what is the new engine in Yu-Gi-Oh! that literally everyone is playing. Bisted. So, since your graveyard will always be banished, and since you're also playing Bisted, and since you're also playing Enchantress, and since you're also playing cards that banish in general, the Nemesis engine becomes fucking broken. So, I want you guys to check out this replay over here. It's a combo tutorial that I made. It's on Dueling Nexus, because Dueling Book goes down! But I refuse! I already went two weeks without content. I already went two weeks without posting content for you guys. There's no fucking chance that it ever happens again. This is for you guys. All right, so now you guys saw the power of Nemesis Flag. What Nemesis Flag does, it takes a banished card and special summons it for free. You know how Sprite Blue special itself for free when you have a level two? This card special itself when you have a banished card. You just put it back into the deck. You recycle your banished cards. So because you have Bisted cards banishing, you have Enchantress, you have 18 cards in the deck that banishes. So, and uh, your opponent's Bisted cards as well, plus your 18. So it's a free extender that is a plus one. It searches Nemesis Protos. And this is not a deck where it's like you need to play strictly only Nemesis cards. This is an engine that you throw in any deck. It's the same way you throw Dangers in any deck. But guess what? What do Dangers do? They summon themselves for free. This does more than that. This summon itself for free adds the new Protos, which by the way is fucking broken. Auto destroys everyone. And because you have all sorts of different types in your deck, Pyro, Thunder, uh, Aqua uh dragons warriors beast warriors your extra deck this protos is just free to summon every single turn it's a free card and it's better than protos because uh, okay well it's, it, calling dark would be broken but you call aqua you play aquas in your deck you play dragons in your deck you play thunder in your deck you play every fucking type in your deck and like nemesis flag will then because it's a level two goes into uh just crazy it, because it's a level two it would go into uh sprites it would go into all this shit so it's just absolutely busted now look at this like like this is gonna just blow your guys mind how how busted this is really a cool way to get rid of sprint from your extra monster zone as well which is very vital and like it triggers your merly too after you pop it you go into draco stapelia and which is not an aqua like this is absurd like it's just absolutely absurd like just look like this is still i haven't even used arrival yet i haven't used uh, arc nemesis yet it's just the best way to play it. I'm in love with this deck. I'm literally in love with this deck. I think it's the best way to play this deck by a landslide. And I'm going to show you guys a cool Scareclaw thing here as well that a lot of people don't know. Is that when you save your Scareclaw arrival, you guys are going to see Malicious as well. But I'm going to talk about it later in the video. But Malicious with the Arch Nemesis stuff is absurdly broken. So your Malicious becomes better to mill than any tier limit card in the whole deck. Because you loop uh, Malicious four times. You go Malicious, uh, you go Arch Nemesis level 2 to add the Arch Nemesis level 3. Uh, special malicious put it back malicious back in deck special it again level three put it back in deck special malicious again and then on top of that 
your very last play, you go rebranded, put Malicious back in the deck special again. So you actually special summon Malicious four times in one turn. It's absurd. Like, it's free. This is not even like, I didn't even calculate this as part of the combo. It's just a free thing that's very cool about the combo that I didn't even mention. So when you combine all this, and it's not like Malicious sticks in your hand, you have a thousand ways to shear in it away. You play Enchantress to, to send it away. You have like a thousand ways <clears throat> to get rid of it. So it's absolutely insane. And like on top of that, you could Mud Dragon it back if you want. I don't think I'm playing Mud Dragon in this version, but uh, still. And now a very cool Scarecrow trick. You guys want to, I want you guys to look at this. You put uh, Lightheart that specific zone and you Griffin on, uh, beside the uh, uh, zone right there to draw and still allows the main monster zone to be free to Elf or Mascarena or something like that. So like, bro, look, like I, I'm not even using Sprite Jet. I milled Smashers, I milled Beasts. Like I don't even care. I'm gonna set the smashes here with Griffin because this will allow me to like just have another interruption here. Uh, I'm gonna go into Sprite Elf. Look at this Sprite. Like, oh my god, this is actually so busted. I'm gonna go Elf here to get Merly uh, with Special Jet if I didn't mill the smash, but uh, you could just set it. Uh, post side deck, this is Griffin setting an Eradicator. I literally sent the Malicious for nothing. I can set an Eradicator if I want. And look at this end board now. Ends on Draco's Tapalia because I'm actually gonna pop my own card. So. I'm going to use Escados to pop my Murley, triggering the Murley. My opponent now cannot summon Telemans at all. So every Telemans player automatically loses. They are locked by uh, my Smashers. They just can't play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragos to Palea. I could Masquerade if I want, but I just don't fucking have space. Like, this deck's insane. Best deck after Pendulum. I hope you guys enjoyed that combo. Now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile. The combo's fucking absurd. Like, it's actually broken. And it synergizes so well with everything in the deck. I actually think every Telemans deck needs to play nemesis cards moving forward they're absolutely busted so now i'm going to show you guys the deck list but before i do if you guys got this far and if you guys love what you see www.trimgaming.com get the best playmats possible bro there's no greater flex in the world than playing on a draco slayer playmat so check it out also smash the subscribe button because i really want to hit 100,000 subs i love you guys let's get straight into the deck list now for the deck list we are playing three nemesis flag absolutely vital it's the best card of the deck the idea of this deck is very simple. You mill your nemesis flag naturally. And if you don't mill it, you search it. If you mill nemesis umbrella, it's the same result as well. Because you go sprite sprint to send nemesis flag to the grave. Sprite elf to bring back nemesis flag. Nemesis flag can then get your Escados or it can get your umbrella just by milling your flag and then summoning it back and then you get them all. All the idea of the nemesis cards, not including the Escados, even just by themselves. Imagine, like, we didn't even talk about Malicious and how broken it is with Malicious. Malicious in this deck is better than sending a Telemann. So, because you're playing Enchantress and, and Bisted cards and Mills and, and Beatrice Turbo and Curious Turbo, you send Malicious on purpose, which is actually better than sending a Telemann. Once you send the Malicious, you use the, you special the Malicious and you Nemesis Flag or Nemesis Umbrella, put the Malicious back into the deck, and you recycle Malicious multiple times, summoning Malicious like seven times in a turn. Not only is it uh, synergized with the Nemesis stuff, but it synergizes with Rebranded as well. So when you use the Bisted cards to search Rebranded, you send back your Malicious. And the way Rebranded and Nemesis cards work, you end up recycling your entire extra deck. So you could get away with just playing a small Tealman Fusion package, allowing you to play better cards in the extra deck, to link line like this deck's absurd like it's truly what my favorite creation at this moment three enchanters like, look at the synergy there's no scenario where nemesis cards are ever bricks because you play three six nine you play 10 bisted cards 13 enchantress 15 malicious your opponent's bisted card 16 17 so 18 out of this 43 48 card deck 18 of them banished by itself not including your opponent's bisted card because everyone's playing bisted right now this deck's actually absurd. Like, I really think that this is just the best way to play uh, Telemann moving forward. So as far as actual deck list is concerned, three Nemesis Flag, Nemesis Umbrella, Arc Nemesis Escados, double Malicious, three Enchantress, one one Griffin, three Vice of Star Frost, one Scarecrow right card. It's just too good not to play. Three Sheeran, three Havnus, two Merly. The reason why I am not playing Rhino is because you specifically go for Enchantress every play. And on top of that, uh, you go Kikalo specifically to special the Merly. In fact, you don't even need to play the Selyak because you most of the time you actually pop your own tier limit. So you actually don't even need the Selyak in the deck. I don't even like it because you always go for the Merly to get your level 2 plays rolling. Because you have the level 2 plays rolling, you have access to Sprint, access to Elf, 
and access to Gigantic. This is also why you need to play two Merle, because you specifically go for Sprint to send the Merle, so you don't want to really mill the Merle, you just want to mill it Sheeran and Havnus. But you want the Merle to be on the field, to be able to Sprint, Elf, and Gigantic. This also, if you already have access to Merle, then, or Merle's already popped, as you guys saw how the Arch Nemesis play uh, in the combo. Uh, if you have access to any any of the Nemesis stuff, you use the Arch Nemesis, the last one, to pop the Merle, and the last one summons up Draco's to Paleo. One Jet, because when you play cards like Sprint and Elf that cannot be linked, it's important to play a Rank 2, where you can summon back the, any Sprite card to get value. So, in this case, Sprite Jet, to get Smashers. 3 Lubelion, 3 Magnemut, 1 Serenier, 3 Serenier, 1 Druid Worm. I'm maxing out on Rebranded and Branded Beast as well, because the idea of the deck is that you end up going plus 20, you end on, on an Arch Nemesis Skados with Branded Beast and, and Smashers, you save all the plus in your hand, your opponent is cooked, your opponent just cannot play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. This deck's absolutely absurd, like it's really broken. 3 Paralino, 1 Reich Phobia, 1 Foolish, 1 Instant, 1 Skekla Arrival, 1 Right of Emissia, 1 Faithful, 1 Draco Back, 1 Smashers, uh, the reason why you're playing one of each of these is that you don't actually want to open the right full but if you do it doesn't matter it's still like plus two it's kind of like fateful adventure for the right package and because you're milling a lot in this deck you always go for mill eight combo uh you don't want to have too many enchantresses because you always mill it anyways and there's so many because even despite you're not the fact that you're not playing three rhino heart you have so many grave effects that are great to mill even like like enchantress malicious flag they're all crazy to mill even jets great to mill so and if you want, you can add three Sprite Blue into this deck as well. Uh, the issue I with Sprite Blue is when you open stuff that aren't level 2, Sprite Blue, you're forced to normal summon it. So I guess it's okay, but it plays a little bit into Bisted cards. Uh, blue is not bad at all. This is extra deck. One uh, Lightheart, one Sprint, one Elf, one Dark, Mascarena, Curious Griffin, Zero Boros, Apeloza. Because we're only playing three Fusions, we can play all the links we want. One Gigantic, one Beatrice. Kikalos, Dragos to like Grua Baron. Volo is decent to play. It's a rank six. You you loop malicious a lot. And with Vice and Starfrost and like 10 Bisted cards, it actually comes up and Garura that you want to play Volo. But in that scenario, I'd rather just Link Climb. Having uh, because you're playing so many different levels, still playing Mascarena and Zero Boros Apeloza do, does come up a lot because a lot of the times you just have like fucking six monsters in the field for no reason. So it's just good to link them into something. This the you look at the main deck, there's no go second cards because the deck just obliterates boards like it, like it's baby food. So what you do is just you side stuff like this. You don't need a normal summon at all in this deck. So you play three spirit. Well, in fact, a lot of the times I just don't normal summon. If you look at this, every single card in this deck is special summonable. Like every one of them. So post side deck, you put in three spirit, three lava golem. I would play Fenrir, but I also wanted some stuff that are good against uh, against Flunder. So you play three Droll, three Droplet. A combination of these twelve, your like it's cook, your opponent is cooked. The cards that you want to take out for these 12 are very important. I'm going to do a how to side deck video in the future. When you're playing a bunch of different engines like this, you have to side out whole engines and tie your engines. You can't just remove little bits of each, if that makes sense. So the best play, in my opinion here, is your opponent is going to be looking at all the tail limit cards. Let's go play tail limit. Let's go play tail I'm going to go dweller, blah, 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 blah. If he plays a deck that can go dweller, you literally just side out the tail limits. Like, it's so big brain. You side out all the tail limits except for one Merle, and I think it's one Havnus. Uh, something like that because you're going to or even double Merle because you just eventually you're going to sprite sprint the Merle and still play like barely just to have two Merle's in the deck is all you need or one happiness one Merle the Perlino will always check twice to start frost uh, and you remove malicious you do something like this and your opponent's dweller like if they go for dweller it's just it's like a dead card they, they, they nag so hard to go dweller and uh, they just obliterate their actual board going first you put in Scarecrow Twin Slot which this card's fucking absurd uh, I think I talked about it already. Eradicator and uh, Tillman Crime. You put in these three going first. And it does seem like a lot of traps. But all these traps are just absurd. And your opponent is just absolutely cooked.